Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. And uh, I chose Alan Wake because I was looking around my my Xbox Live uh, digital library, and it was a tie between this and Xenoclash because Xenoclash 2 is coming out. So I'm gonna do both. Uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna come out before Xenoclash or what have you, but. Anyway, so that I, I thought I'd just give you some context into this. So we're going to start a new game on normal, because we're sane. Yes, that's fine. Anyway, I love Alan Stevie Wake. I love the uh, the setting. I love the story. Fun to be had I love the gameplay gimmick. To the poetry of fear. It's just uh, it's a really, really story, great game to me. Keeps asking why. But there can be no explanation. It's very Stephen and Kingy and uh, Stephen King like, is what stays if you with will. Us the longest. Uh, and it's what we'll if you don't know, we're end. from up in Maine, so My Stephen King's Alan kind Wake. of a big deal here because he's probably the only celebrity from Maine that I can think of. So uh, I'm going to jump right into this. I could hardly stand my feet. The skinny of it is that uh, you're writing a book and you get into a car accident here, so. Look up at the light. No! Who inverts their controls in today's day and age? Whoever does that is a freak. And a poo-poo head. And, uh... So far, the, uh... So far. Um... As the setting looks, it's very main. Like, like, the lighthouse. Sort of, uh... Very pine forest. It's very Stephen King inspired. Oh, who's that? He's scary as shit. I'm gonna poop my pants everywhere. Oh! No, I don't. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's been a while since I played this game, dude. It actually jumped me a little bit. You know, I'm gonna be a little uh, faithful in this uh, recording as to how uh, jumpy I get. Um, I'm not guaranteeing a perfect run, but. You can't stop me. Yeah, I dodged you, bitch. Try it again. Dodge the fucking attack. Come on. Whoa! Uh! Holy... Jeez, I'm crow. That guy's got an axe. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. Hell yeah. So you know how he dies, right? And the checkpoint system is based on these lights. Let's die by the hands of your own creation. Voice synth though there. So uh, basic rule of thumb in Alan Wake: if you're not taking your time killing everyone, or if you get overwhelmed, run away. Which is basically what it's teaching you right now, because there's a giant death tornado that uh, is right behind me, and uh, Alan can't run worth two buckets of shit. He's like the biggest fat guy ever. He just cannot. Uh, that's why behind us anyway. So this is kind of like in the dream state. Uh, I think this is while you're asleep in the car. Anyway. Spoiler! <laughs> this game's only been out forever. Oh no! Oh, Tom! 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 Wait! I'll let you in. Stop! <laughs> no! You can't kill ghosts, die. man. No! 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 You need special bullets. Anyway, I'm playing this one, this uh, the original Alan Wake, as opposed to the uh, the poopy American Nightmare. Is because American Nightmare out. made it more actiony. Hello. Some nice music you got going on there. Got a flashlight yet? Ooh, the rocking chair is rocking. Who's doing that? Ooh, spooky shit. Oh my god, turn her. I had to get out. Yeah, I know you have to get out. Come on. Come on. Ow. Jeez, um. 
follow the light. And this really, really bright light guy is uh, like our guide, like a Cortana or something like that. He's uh, the light. I don't want to spoil anything, but he knows what's up before you do. So. Well done. Some I have sweet. something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know. Waves are both wilder and more serene. Oh yeah? To its ports I've been. To its As ports a I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. <gasps> Bitch got magic. So, if he can control this world, why was there a crazy evil hitchhiker after me? These are the questions we need to ask, audience. We need to stay engaged. We need to ask questions. We need to break the game. We are here to. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Fuck that guy. Give me the give me the light. Have it. I want it. Want a flashlight? Come here, man. So the circle there, when it goes all the way away, that means that they're uh, you did it. they're basically the they're vulnerable. Then the darkness is away from them, and you don't have to hold on L to give it that boost. Uh, that uses a battery. If you use up your entire flashlight bar, you have to put batteries in it, so you basically reload. Um, but you can just aim your flashlight at them, and that'll do the exact same thing. Bitch. Bitch. Gat. Gat. Good. You've done well. Remember what I told I have? You. That is all. I will give you <laughs> That is all. But anyway, this uh this ominous light here, he's also a writer. A terrible and he sounds kind of old worldy. The the so, the that's a hint. Safe place on earth. If you haven't played this game seriously, you need to go play it. Um or watch me play it. Either or. But still, this uh, this game is absolutely freaking. Oh, <laughs> bitch! I just killed you. I'm gonna do it again. Bitch, please. Oh! Didn't even aim. So good I am, man. This is it, bitch. How do you know my name? I see another guy. Wah! Bitch! So yeah, that's basically the entire gameplay of this. That and skillful uh, dodging and running. And uh, it's got a lot of survival aspects where uh, you don't really get a lot of ammo or anything. Flare gun is basically your BFG. It's the end-all be-all for most enemies. You're gonna want to save that for an occasion just like this. And they'd be all like, sizzle, sizzle, pop. Make that booty drop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't do that again. Nope. No, I don't want that. Uh -huh, I want that. Gag, gag. So this game pulls the, uh, if you played the darkness too, I know the darkness sort of makes you think you're crazy. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me while I change my pants, man. This game really isn't that scary, but still. I'm gonna probably do that a lot throughout this game because me and scary games don't really jive. Um, I mean, I beat this. And I'm almost done on Nightmare difficulty. Not anymore because I just started over for you guys. I sacrificed that. Not really. That save file was like two years old and I probably was never going to finish it. But I love the game so much that I'm just going to enjoy it on normal, have a nice casual fun time with uh, with minimal pants shitting. Uh, I don't like to shit my pants that often, but you know, I like it as much as the next guy, really. And uh, if I sound a little hoarse, it's because I've been up all night working. So uh... 
Yeah, that's what that's why the commentary is a little uh, <laughs> little hit and miss right now. the The lighthouse is an important fixture in the story, so you're gonna see that in a lot of the dream fugue states things. The uh, the big bad guy is uh, this sort of evil spirit. He's here. Oh, he's here. That resides in this lake. Here. Baby, just that, uh, a troubled writer fine. is coming he to for die. vacation for inspiration. Right. Anything more than dozed off. And uh, it doesn't really help that he's a horror writer on top of that. So Cheer up, handsome. We're here. He's gonna be in for a fun ride. We're all gonna be in for a fun ride. Probably won't come across as scary to you guys, but I'm a bit of a chicken shit when it comes to these things. So Bright Falls. We don't go to Bright Falls. Gordon Freeman. Zambies. This game has some strong voice acting. Uh, if you haven't already noticed with the narrator. Uh, the main character, Alan Wake. His whole body and everything is based off the voice actor, so it really goes well. Other than that, the, the graphics are a little dated because this is a little bit sure. of an older game. I'll but hey, gameplay is great, story is great. It's just fun for the whole family. Unless you're like seven and below, then it might be a little traumatizing because it's kind of scary. Oh my god, that guy's got blood! He's got blood! Back of his truck! <laughs> anyway, so I think I'm going to call it here for this episode. Thank you all for tuning in, and stop by next week for episode two, because that comes after one. Uh, if two came before one, then that really wouldn't make much sense. Especially before three, two should come before three. So, see you all next week. Bye!